Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Smith Shake's Custom Base, Rick Smith Shake here. Um, today we're going to tie another jig. Okay, and when when my cousin Amelia asked for a memento for her brother, um, her husband also asked for something for, because I guess his father passed about four months ago. Um, it was a whole lot easier to to do something personalized for my cousin Roger and Amelia than it is for Amelia's husband's father. Because I think that the only time I've ever seen Anthony is uh, is in that short little video they made is when they opened up the when they opened up the lures. Um, I've never actually met him. Um, so it's a whole lot more difficult to do something personalized. Uh, or at least at least I think so. Um, but I did make him a jig and today I'm gonna show you how I tied that jig. Okay, I put a trailer on it too. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the trailer today. I don't think I'm going to do a trailer for today. I'll show you the I'll show you the color. I have a couple of uh, of uh, um, a couple of baits hanging over there in that in that in that color the color, the color I call doubloons. Um, <clears throat> so um, that's what we're going to do today. Tie jig. I've already okay. I've already made. A one ounce football jig, okay, in the same copperhead color that I made his in. All right. Um, so that's what we're, I mean, you, bleh, I can talk really. <laughs> um, so that's what we're going to be making the jig head we're going to be using. Um, I made a second one just in case, but it turned out fine. Um, and also, I've been tying, I've been, you, you saw the last video. Uh, you saw I had some difficulty with the whip finish with the with all the junk that's hanging off the side, you know, the stuff that's from from the from the skirt. Well, as you can see, I've just about covered up the collar, the 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 the, the, the bait retainer part of it, um, with hot pink thread. Well, I got some hot pink thread because it's it's nice and bright and it's easy to see what you're doing. Um, but I've been doing some practicing. I still need to do more practice uh, because I'm not quite where I want to be in that yet. But we're getting close. But today, on the jig that we're going to do, I'm going to use one pad white. Okay. And then I'm going to use two pads. Let's just show you one. I'm going to use two pads of this golden shiner. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to show you the, uh, the color of the I don't know how well you can see that. How well you can see the laminate. There is a laminate. This is a laminate. It's two different gold powders. Okay. And that's the this is the color of the trailer. I, I put a um I put a brush hog, a four inch brush hog on his. Um so let's go ahead and get this started here. Okay. This is gonna be the top of the jig. So, and we're going to use two of these Golden Shiner. I'm going to kind of try to make that half and half. Yeah, it's about half there. Right here. Okay. I'm going to tie one. I'm actually going to tie the first one off to this side over here a little bit. Okay. But first... You know what we have to do first? We have to put a thread base on there. Somebody was forgetting themselves and getting a little bit ahead of the ahead of the game. All right. Let's get a good uh, good thread base there. All right. Bring this up to the front there. Let it hang. Snip our. Red there. Okay, now let's go ahead and all right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and start wrapping this. We're gonna wrap the first couple, not too tight, just kind of there. Okay. We take a quick look here. That's a little. Too long. I'm gonna 
Don't too long in the back. Okay, that's about half. There we go. One more. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and push this mostly to that other side. Okay, because I want most of this on the on, on the on the top. Let's say the top left of it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some nice tight wraps on there. Hold this thing in place. Let me double check my work here, which is what this, this rotary vise is beautiful at. Okay, now let's go ahead and lay the next one up here also. Okay, should be right about there. Should be about right. Okay, now I'm going to put this one on the other side just a little bit. We'll get... Just a couple of kind of loose wraps there, not too tight. Double check our lengths. Let's put this here like that. Oh, the lengths look real nice. So I'm gonna go ahead. I went and got some more of these things today. All right, these hair clips. We'll see how well they see how well they do. The 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 first ones I got were just a little bit too small. It was just a little bit too difficult to get all the stuff held up there in place like that. That one actually worked pretty nice, didn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and wrap that one more time. And I'm going to let's make sure I have both of these exactly how I want them. They look pretty good, actually. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's try this one here and see how this works. Oh yeah, that works pretty good too. I guess I have a choice what to use now. <laughs> and this one here is kind of in the way. I still have some stuff in the way there. This is something that's just a little bit of, oh, there we go, look at that, how's that? Bob's your uncle, isn't he? Let's go ahead and wrap these nice and tight. Oops. Don't get too far up there. There we go. And I'll double check my work here. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. So guess what? Now we're going to go ahead and put this next. Put this white one for like a white belly. Any place where you have golden shiners in the, in the water, this jig should work. This jig should catch some fish for you. Okay, let me, just a little loose there on the first one. Put one more kind of loose wrap, not too tight. And that's, they, they come together real nice on both sides. Hope you can see that, okay. Now I'm going to I'm gonna change my my hair clips here. My I maybe mean, I'll just call them stuff clips because that's what they do is they hold all my stuff. Okay, that's pretty close there, and I think this one here will be. I think that'll be just fine, just like that. All right, here we go. Wrap, 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 wrap them nice and tight. Okay. Don't want this stuff coming undone. Guess what I forgot to set over here. I always forget something, don't I? Always. I forgot the glue. All right. The first thing we're going to do here today, before we go get the glue, is I'm going to... Now, I'm not as deft, I guess, at this as some other people are. That's my third one. My fourth one, oops, and that's just, I was gonna hold that as I pulled it in. And there we go, okay? I just did a whip finish, yay. All right, I'm back with the glue, and these scissors snip that very carefully. 
right. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue in there. I just drip some on myself. I don't want to do that. Okay. There's the glue. Okay. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to take these hair clips off. And I will trim them. Trim the pads. And this baby will be done. In a couple weeks or so, we'll we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and uh, hmm, that was kind of a couple weeks or so. I'll, I'll start putting uh, I'll start putting rattles on these things. I have some I have uh, blades on the way, so I can make. So I can make uh, bladed chips. Yeah, it's good. Okay, well, hopefully the table um, isn't shaken like the last one. We got a different card table. The one we were, the one I did the first two jig videos, the tie on, the, on there. Um, the first two videos that we were using a card table that's God only knows how old it is. It was it was my wife's grandma's. Okay, and uh, it's not very sturdy. The, the legs don't want to lock in place like they're supposed to. Um, yeah. It's, so we scored a new table. So um, it's a pretty decent little card table. Um, and in fact, it's nice if we could use it as a dining room table if we wanted to. Um, but uh, <clears throat> uh, so hopefully that works out a whole lot better. But once again, here's our jig. Okay. Here's the jig we tied. That's what for today. All right. Oops. Let's make. Let's try to get over here. Make sure it's out there where everybody can see it. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get. The, I'll watch the video, see how I did, and and, uh, and maybe I'll have to figure something else out for for uh, for showing off the jigs. But that's our jig. This is how. This is what I made for him uh, as a memento for Anthony's father, um, without knowing him uh, or Anthony. Um, hopefully, I did pretty good there. Uh, so, but that's a pretty sweet little jig, I think. Um, that's it. If you like what you saw today, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell too, so you get notifications uh, for for uh, for when I for when I get new videos up. This one's a, uh, almost a week late, uh, but I finally got that uh, that big order done and bagged. Um, that was that was a huge order. 30, 30, over thirty seven hundred panfish baits. Um, I could have used a few more cavities and make that go a little faster, but it is what it is, and I was glad to have the order. So um, it kept me busy for a week uh, or, or a little more. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, so uh, I'll try to get another video out this week still, and uh, I don't know what it'll be yet, but I'm gonna try to get another one out this week. Get caught up there. So. Um, Oh yeah, and I had to fix the I had to fix the freaking stairs going down into the basement this weekend too. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna do the video sooner, but um, I don't know what happened or how. Or, well, I know what happened. I just don't know why it happened. On the stairs, one of the risers, the the part that goes up and down, gave way, and then it when it sagged, the stringer broke in the middle. The stringer is the part that goes across the top. Well, that broke like this, right? So. I had to fix that. Um, unfortunately for the stairs going down into the basement, or the garden level, I guess it is, um, I could access the back side of the stairs from the crawl space. So I, I don't want to get too detailed. I just put, basically I put new stringers in underneath the old ones like this, support them with L brackets and a post in the, in, in, on the back side of the stringer. So, um, and, and you can't even, from, from, from outside, you can't even, there's carpet on the stairs. You can't even tell that they were broke now. So, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> so it cost me like 30 bucks to fix them that way and it compared to 1200 to have them replaced. So, um, 
So it's been, I've been super busy all with different projects, everything, you name it. Not, all kinds of stuff coming up, and, but, but we got it done. We got it all done. That's the important thing. Um, so uh, until next time, folks, tight lines, calm waters, and God bless.